How's it going guys? Steve here with Lifetime Products. Today we're going to talk about how to choose the right kayak. Now when choosing a kayak, it mainly comes down to the type of paddling you plan to do. Typically there are two styles of kayaks, sit in and sit on top kayaks, but we're going to expand that today and talk about angler and tandem options as well. First, let's look at sit on top kayaks. Sit on top kayaks feature an open deck where you are sitting directly on top of the kayak. This type of kayak allows you to have more freedom of movement and full range of motion. Because you are not sitting directly in the kayak, it's a little more comfortable because you can move your arms and legs more freely. A sit on top kayak is a little bit more of a wet experience. Because you are sitting on top of the kayak, you are exposed to the elements and more prone to being splashed. Because of that, Sit on top kayaks are great for staying cool in warm weather conditions. Another great benefit to sit on top kayaks are scupper holes. Scupper holes are self draining holes that allow water to drain away from the deck of the kayak. That means that when water does splash onto the deck, it has a way to escape the kayak and you don't have to pump it out. Because a sit on top kayak is fully enclosed, you can't swamp the kayak. You can jump into the water from your kayak and get back on without it filling up with water making it great for going out and playing around in the water. Now let's look at sit-in kayaks. A sit-in kayak has a cockpit that has paddlers sitting inside the kayak. The covered cockpit keeps you better sheltered from the wind and elements and makes these kayaks ideal for colder weather. Though you're enclosed and have a bit less range of motion, you are able to utilize your legs to improve maneuverability on the water. Pushing against the sides of the kayak with your legs will allow you to take tighter turns and have greater control. Now not saying this happens often, but in the case where you do swamp the kayak and fall in, you will either need to use a bilge pump to remove the water or swim the kayak back to shore to drain the kayak. Now let's talk about tandem kayaks. With a tandem kayak, you can fit two people on one kayak. This makes it great for sharing the experience with a friend. It is also easy to train new paddlers by working together on a tandem kayak. Having them along with you on the kayak can help them feel more comfortable and confident with being out on the water. If you're worried about transportation and storage, having to manage just one kayak instead of two can make things a lot easier as well. If you're interested in fishing, you may want to consider an angler kayak. Angler kayaks are equipped with fishing rod holders and additional storage for your tackle box and fishing gear. An angler kayak gives you greater access to the water and can help you fish in those hard to reach areas. If the fish aren't biting at a certain spot, it's easy to paddle over to a new area and throw in your line. Some angler kayaks have the option to stand up, giving you a different perspective as you're out on the water. You may also consider a pedal drive angler kayak. This offers a hands-free experience, giving you more time to bring in those fish. Another feature to consider when choosing a kayak is the size. The length and width of the kayak makes a difference in how the kayak performs on the water. Longer kayaks will travel faster through the water, while shorter kayaks are more maneuverable. The wider the kayak, the more stability you will have as well. Alternatively, a more narrow kayak allows you to go faster. If you are looking for more stability, it's better to go with a wider kayak. If you want to go fast, it's better to go with a more narrow kayak. Also, always check the weight capacity of the kayak. If you are over the weight capacity, the kayak will not perform very well, and it could cause the kayak to sink. For your safety, it's important that you fall within the kayak's weight capacity. Thanks for watching this video. For more helpful tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at lifetime.com. And we'll see you next time.